Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be making some resin ocean coasters. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be pouring these in two layers. So the first layer I'm going to be using clear cast 7000 resin. It's a one to one ratio. So you just pour equal parts of A and B into your mixing cup and then you mix it up for five minutes. And when you're mixing up your resin, you want to make sure you scrape the sides of your cup, scrape the bottom of your cup, and scrape off your stir stick just so parts A and B get nice and incorporated and everything gets mixed well. I'm going to be using all the Res Expressions products today. I'm going to be using Steel Blue Epoxy Paste, Amethyst Blue Epoxy Paste, Angel White Epoxy Paste, and Molten Gold Epoxy Paste. And you can get La Res products from Laura's Art Corner on Facebook. Be sure to check out her store. She has tons of awesome products, glitter, and all kinds of good stuff. So here I'm going in with the steel blue just right in the middle going straight across. I'm going to go in with the amethyst blue on the top and then the molten gold on the bottom. The amethyst blue is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's a new pigment and it's a metallic. If you guys are looking for a new blue, definitely try out the amethyst blue. It's my new favorite. And I mixed up my pigments off camera, but I went ahead and just added a pea size amount to each of my cups of color. And I ended up pouring, I would say, about two ounces of resin in each of these coasters. Because like I said, I'm going to be pouring them in layers. And if you want to see a video exactly on how to mix up your pigments and all that good stuff, I will link it down below. If you're new to resin art, be sure to check that out. I just cut it out of this video to save time. Here I'm just going in with the line of the angel white and I'm going to be adding some clear right next to the angel white and then we will be going in with the heat gun to move the white over the clear and get some nice waves and cells and lacing. And the molds that I'm using are by Just For You Online UK. I got them from Dryer Days Art Studio store. Be sure to check out her information. I'll link it down below in the description and I have a discount code for you guys too. So here I'm just going in with the clear next to that angel white and um, I know my cup kind of looks a little bit red but that's just because I reuse my cups and my stir sticks. Um, when you're done pouring you can just leave your cups setting out sitting you know upright and the resin will set up inside your cup there and um, then you can just use it the next time you're going to pour you don't have to worry about cleaning it out or anything and your old color won't bleed into your new color and my sticks I just wipe them off really good with uh, isopropyl alcohol and a paper towel and just reuse them I find that that I like to do that just because you know then you're not wasting a bunch of products so I went in with my heat gun and I just moved that white over the clear as you could see. Just going in with a little bit more of that angel white. So my plan for these was to pour these in two layers and the first layer kind of just be like a base and then the second layer I was just going to do waves with the angel white and clear resin. Um, but that didn't end up working out. You'll see here in a few minutes. So I learned a lesson while making these and um, definitely if you want to try to do that, what you'd want to do is pop them out of the molds the next day or after they're dry and then add your um, waves on top of the on top of the piece that's already dry because just trying to do the waves while they're inside the molds didn't work out for me which was a bummer but it was an experiment I was trying and I learned something so definitely you guys can learn from me what not to do in this case but they actually still turned out really really pretty so that's why I was like well I'm just going to upload this video because you know they still turned out really awesome in my opinion so here I just went in with some of that angel white along the shoreline and I was just going in with my stick and making a little swirl to kind of define the shoreline um, next to the molten gold there. And when you do this, you don't want to push your stick all the way down to the bottom of the mold because it can scratch your mold. So I was just doing it right on the surface of the resin inside the mold. 
I went ahead and put the bottom two away in my dust free zone and these two I wanted to add a little bit more white to them. I just wanted to see if I could get the waves to kind of do a little bit more. Um, but like I said, it's not ideal to try to do waves inside the molds. So um, if you guys wanted to try this, what you could do is just use a little bit more resin and then fill the molds up all the way instead of pouring them in layers um, because the underside is actually what I'm going to be using for the top and you'll see that when we demold them. It turned out to be really, really pretty. Here I'm just going in with a little bit more of that amethyst blue just to kind of break up the um, middle section here, swirling it around a little bit. And then I'm going to add um, a little bit more angel white to the guy on the coaster on the right here, heat it up, and then I'll put it away in my dust-free zone for 24 hours. And what I do to keep these dust-free is uh, put an upside-down storage container tote on top of them and that keeps some dust and debris free. So here we are, it's 24 hours later. I'm gonna be going in with my second layer and I'm gonna be using KS Resin Liquid Art Epoxy for this layer. I'm gonna be mixing up six ounces and it's a one-to-one -one ratio as well. So three ounces of your part B, three ounces of your part A. Just mix that up for anywhere from three to five minutes. And I'm gonna be using Angel White Epoxy Paste and the Lorez Glitz and Glam Pigment in Milky Way. And I found out on the other two coasters that the waves inside the mold wasn't going to work. So what I ended up doing to three of the four of these is just pouring in clear just like this, hitting it with my heat gun to pop some bubbles. And then I just took some of the angel white and some of the Milky Way pigment and just kind of swirled them around in there because I was like, well, this is going to be the bottom for sure, 100%. So you know the bottom it doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's going to get covered up with a cork backing or you can use rubber bumpers i like to use rubber bumpers too so that's the angel white there and then the milky way glitz and glam pigment it's a really gorgeous um kind of color shifting green pigment i just absolutely love it it's beautiful so then just go in and kind of swirl it around that's what I was doing on this one. And then the one on the left, I had some of the liquid diamonds resin leftovers from a different project I was working on. So I wanted to see what the difference would be on the two of them, kind of doing a little bit of an experiment, I guess. So the one on the left, I just poured some clear on top of it and then um, covered them all up again and let them dry for 24 hours. And then we'll be ready to demold them after they're all dry. So here's my clear liquid diamonds resin. This resin is a two to one ratio. If you guys want to see exactly how to mix up the liquid diamonds, I'll link a video down below in the description. Check that out and I show you exactly how to mix it. So now it's 24 hours later and we will de now we're ready to demold these guys. This is the one with the liquid diamonds, but check it out. See, this side turned out really cool, I think. It totally looks like an ocean to me. It's kind of an abstract ocean. And I love the clear, the look of the clear. And then these ones are the ones that I used um, the Angel White and KS Resin on. They just kind of look like stormy, right? But I think they turned out really fun. So I'm going to finish demolding these and then I will bring you guys in for a close-up. I wanted to show you guys really quickly too the difference between the clear and the white backing. It's kind of fun to pour them in layers. You could do a different color backing if you want to, but you don't have to pour these in layers. I was just trying to do um, them in layers to get the waves to work, but they still turned out really fun. Check it out. That amethyst blue up at the top is just so gorgeous. If you need any epoxy paste or pigments, definitely check out Laura's Art Corner. She also has um, 3D elements for your resin art. So I'll link her store down below. Go check her out. 
but yeah, that shimmer's really, really pretty from the metallic epoxy pastes. And this one had the real wave show up right there in the corner. Do you see that? I think these still turned out pretty cool. They're just like total abstract oceans. It wasn't the look I was going for, but if you guys do resin art, you know resin has a mind of its own and it just does what it wants to do anyway. So still think it turned out cool. What do you guys think about these ones? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked it, go ahead and leave me a like or another thing that would help me out is if you go watch a few more of my other videos or even check out a playlist if you're new to resin art. I have a resin art tutorial playlist. It's got tons of great information. And this one, you guys, it had a little heart show up. Do you see it right here? It's like a little hidden ghosty heart. I love that. So now this one's my favorite because I... I find hearts in my art a lot, hidden hearts, so this one's now my favorite one. So thanks again, guys, for watching this video. If you want to check out the molds, I will link Catherine's um, website down below, Dryer Days Art Studio, and I have a discount code for you, too. And don't forget to subscribe because tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a fun video on how to use liquid latex for resin drips. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.